Uh, a good day for, to everyone. Thank you for attending this uh, open house on sustainable infrastructure engineering. Um, today, I will give a brief sharing of our degree program on SIE land and SIE building services. Right, I'm, I'm Chu Beng, the program leader for SIE building services. Partnering with me is Associate Professor Gan Hon Yap, who is the program leader for SIE land. Right. SIE has uh, went through an uh, accreditation exercise in uh, April 2018 for SIE land. And for SIE building services, we also gotten our uh, provisional accreditation in February 2019. So these two programs right, has been accredited by EAB. So this com comprises of the Master of Engineering for Technology for SIE together with our uh, degree for SIE. Moving on ahead, we will be applying for our full accreditation right in um, in March next year and uh, March and, and in October two zero two one for SIE building services. So so the um, for our degree program is we have a team of um, uh, advisory board in the community in the committee comprising of um, expert expert and uh, managing uh, directors and other, other key appointment holders in the uh, organization like uh, LTA, uh, Jurong Town Corporation, BCA, and ST Technologies. This group of um, key appointment holders are giving us advice on um, our direction in terms of our degree program and also help us to streamline the uh, degree courses. So with this team of um, experts in the community, in the industry, it actually helps us to uh, better prepare our students for their career after graduation from our degree program. Now let's just look at the curriculum structure for, for SIE. This is common for SIE land and SIE building services. Right? During the first uh, three years, right, which is common for, um, for the undergraduate course, we have a uh, total, we are working on a trimester basis, right? So um, students have to um, study the, uh, in each trimester, right? A total of um, uh, 13 weeks, right? Before they have their examinations, right? Looking at uh, year one, right? We have trimester A and B, right? After the first two trimester, we have a trimester break, right? For the first year, right? Before they continue on to trimester C, and D in year two, and followed by the specialized modules E, right, in, um, in the third trimester of year two. Right, after year two, the students will be embarking on their uh, integrated work study program, where they will be attached to a company to uh, work for a period of a total of one year, before coming back in trimester F in year four to fulfill the requirement for graduation for undergraduate course. My, my colleague, um, Prof. Andrew, will be sharing more on the integrated work study program um, in the later part of the sharing session. Right, after year four, trimester one, some of the students may be planning to continue their studies with us so they can continue to get an MN stack right, in, um, in year four right, to fulfill it in two trimester by studying a full time right, in trimester two and trimester three for year four. There's also those students who are already been uh, hired, right, or being um, hired by their IWSP companies, Don't, so they may choose to go on a more lighter load by taking less modules and they will complete their MN stack in a total of five years period. So this is the curriculum structure for the, uh, we are working on the three trimesters per year as mentioned. Right, the first trimester is from the September to December, right? We are starting from 2021. The second trimester is from January to April, and the third trimester is from May to August, right? Each trimester have um, a total of 12 study week, right? With one recess week in week seven, in week eight, right? Followed by two examination uh, week after uh, week 13. Right. And uh, students are expected to take average of around five to six modules per trimester. 
right? Each of the modules have a total of 36 to 48 hours, comprising of 24 hours of lecture time with 12 hours of lab, or it could be a combination of lectures and tutorial as shown in the breakdown. For the students to graduate, they have to fulfill 180 credits right, for a Bachelor of Honours and a total of 240 credits to graduate with an MN stack. Now, let me share more on the uh, SIE building services. What is the motivation behind the formation of our degree program? Right, the dri driving transformation is through the industrial transform transformation map as shown in the uh, figure here. So the vision, right, is to prepare our students, right, to embark on the uh, key areas of construction ITM. This comprises of uh, green sustain sustainability, right, looking into energy efficiency, right, energy saving. So our students will be, will be learning how to be, uh, do an energy audit, right, and to uh, look into the various aspects of the um, energy consumption in all the high power, uh, high utilization load right in a building. They will also be looking into design uh, for manufacturing, right? This is an overview which uh, encompasses the uh, construction ITM. So this part of the design, right, they will learn a bit on the um, uh, solid works and uh, on the design aspect for manufacturing, which will be covered uh, briefly in our course. Lastly is the integrated digital delivery, right? This is the key area which our SIE building services students will be embarking on. They will be using tools like Revit Bin, right, to do this uh, integrated digital delivery. So the key focus area of our degree program is as follow, right? SIE students will learn about the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, building information modeling, Right, and um, looking into the aspect of sustainable building engineering, right, looking at the key pointers of having this green mark certification. Our students also get the chance right, to um, take on a course such that they can get the fire safety specialist um, the, uh, the certificate. Right. So our students, after completion through the course, right, these are some of the certificates which our students will likely obtain, right, which includes the work place, safety and health, uh, fire safe, safety management, and for some of the students, during their integra integrated work study program, they may be supporting their companies to get a green mark certification. Right, this uh, slide here shows you an uh, example of a fire, management, fire safety management course, right, which has been awarded to the instructor, uh, Prof Anhui, who is teaching the course. So our our professor actually have to go through the course itself and they have to get um, certified before they can teach on such a certification course. And here, right, it's shared that um, this training course, right, is essential because it looks into inspection of building in terms of uh, fire safety and to allow the trainee to have a better understanding of the various fire protection system, procedures and safety regulation. Our students also be, be uh, taking this course on the workplace safety and health from Skill Future SG. Right? These courses are very essential right, for uh, students who are working in those MEMP uh, companies. Right? The knowledge gained through this will allow them to endorse uh, certain work uh, procedures, including risk assessment, right, where they have to identify and risk hazards right, and to evaluate the uh, risk level and estimate the cost in terms of the risk for manufacturing, uh, power, oil and gas industry. This also allowed them to handle the operational issues related to the control and management of risk in the service industry. Next, I will show you the uh, more details into what the students will learn through each of the trimester. Right, in trimester, one and trimester two, right, for year one, the course are, are general course or foundation course in the areas of uh, engineering related to uh, mechanics of engineering materials, dynamics of machines. So these are mechanical courses. 
Students will also learn um, C programming as well as some knowledge on uh, measurement and sensing technology, which involve the use of IOE, IoT tools. Our students will also learn about engineering drawing for building services in trimester two of year one. So this is the uh, kid start point where the students will learn about Revit uh, bin drawing. Right. In year two, the students will go more in depth into the requirement of uh, building services, where they look into fluid mechanics, electrical system, sustainable building engineering, mechanics of solids. In, in trimester D, right, in uh, year two, students will then be able to apply the knowledge which they gain right, through the studying of those modules for the bin for mechanical, electrical and plumbing design studio, where students will have to um, work more in depth right, into the design right, for a specific um, example, a condominium setup. So these are areas where the students really put to use their knowledge they gain through the modules into a design project, right? which will be in the later part of the course in, uh, in trimester three of uh, year two, right? as highlighted in trimester E. Right? In year three, as shared, they will be going for this IWSP program before they come back right, to the university to fulfill the requirement for the course in year four, trimester one, right, for the few certified uh, courses. For students who choose to embark on the MH Tech with us, they have two more uh, trimester to complete if they choose to uh, take four modules. And these four modules are, are specialized modules right, in the aspect of uh, building services. So let us look at uh, the concept of applied learning, right? Using the examples of um, um, modules linked to that of uh, uh, Rabbit Bin, right? Where students in SIE 1012, they will learn about engineering drawing for building services, right? This year one project is a group work where the students are working together, right? To design the need for a building. In year two, they are moving ahead, right? To a new module on the beam for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing design studio, which I highlight earlier, where students are working individually to design the needs of, example, the condominium in, as, as shown here for the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. So the students will need to design on the needs of a unit and subsequently the whole building of the, um, of the architecture. Right, as shown here, right, students will need to plan on the materials to be used for the uh, supply pipes. They also have to look into the power distribution system and also the, uh, how about the plumbing design right, in the overall um, residential area. Right, so these are knowledge which they gain through the uh, modules in electrical system, right, in the plumbing, etc. for their, in the modules. Right, this is a clubhouse which the students um, design right, in, 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 in this module itself. So they are looking into the um, HVAC, um, the electrical system set up, the fire escape, and etc. In year three, right, some of the students may be linked, may be working in um, companies which require them, them to use extensive level of uh, Revit bin right, for design of uh, architecture. So some of the students, when they go for the IWSP, they have to put this knowledge into play right, in their workplace. In year four, when they come back to the university, some of them may continue on working on projects linked to their IWSP. So they may be working on uh, design projects linked to this uh, Revit bin right, on a specific uh, problem statement which the companies have identified through their work in this over of this period of one year. So this year four uh, final year design project is for, a tri for one trimester period, which is a four months period before the students graduate with a degree in SIE building services. So our students are also, work also have other design projects in, um, in year two trimester three, where uh, in this, in this, uh, po these are po some of the posters being put up by our students where URA pro proposed a design project to ease congestion in Plaza Singapura right, back, back in uh, 2019, right, and as well as um, um, where the students also get some prizes in terms of their awards linked to design solution for reducing outdoor 
to indoor transport of pollutants in 2017. Right, this is another photo showing our students getting the Best Idea Award for Entrepreneurship Development Program, as well as the Maple Tree Challenge 2020. So our students actually participate actively in um, competition. This, were, this actually broadened their horizon in their understanding and knowledge of the needs of uh, the industry, um, looking specifically into solving real industrial problems. Right, so this is other uh, challenges where the students get some award prizes for the uh, Green Mart Challenge as well as Workpla Workplace Asia 2019. Right, so these are some photos of the students' work right, with SMRT as well as other um, operating setup for the MEMP, right, where they are working into looking into the HVAC ventilation system right, and also on the beam design. The list of companies which are supporting us for this integrated work study program is as highlighted or shown in this slide here, right, which have uh, in including uh, key um, authority like uh, BCA, right, um, JTC, as well as um, EM Services and Subana Jurong. So all these uh, enterprises are actually taking in our students for their one year of integrated work study program. Most of the time, after doing this one year of IWSP, the companies may offer the students the opportunity to join them upon graduation. So these are an uh, example of an advanced offer right, given to our students after they end their IWSP. The advanced offer for SIE Building Services in the year of um, when they end on September 2020 is as follow. So, uh, Around 50% of the students are given advance offer by the uh, companies, right? And uh, the rest, right, some of them are not being offered, so some of them may consider also to take on their MNH tag with us, right? So the hiring, comp the list of hiring companies are as listed or shown in this uh, in this slide here. Uh, as you can see, 2020 is a period of um, um, bad economic situation, but our our students are being offered by the companies right, for this um, uh, during this period of time, which I, I feel is a very good uh, start for our students. Right? The companies really uh, appreciate their work in their IWSP and they see a value in hiring our students. There's also a graduate employment survey being carried out for uh, 2019, right, where our students are graduate from their MNH Tech. So these are lists of companies which, are, which shows the, our students working with their past IWSP industrial partners. Around 55% of them are, are the key uh, companies as highlighted in this slide here. So it involves uh, companies in, uh, in the MEMP, uh, in the um, design companies right, for, for building architecture, right, as well as um, in the uh, hotel industry. So when you graduate from our degree course, what can you look for, what uh, are the job opportunity that you can have, right? Our students can be a design engineer, right, with a focus on a HVAC system, and as well as other mechanical engineering areas. They can be also a beam designer or beam manager, looking into the design for facility management. They can also work on the area related to sustainability and energy efficiency, where they can be a building consultant, right? Or they can be a facility manager, right, with their knowledge in uh, fire safety, as well as uh, safety and health. Right, for the graduation employment survey carried out, this is um, the, the, the data that we have. Right, 92.5% of them are being employed right, when the survey was carried out in uh, March 2020. So the uh, mean monthly salary was around um, 3,400 and the gross monthly salary was around uh, 3,500. So these are the survey being done in uh, March 2020 for our first batch of graduate MH Tech students. 
our, our key value to our degree program is that we actually wanted our students, right, to, um, con after their undergraduate, to consider continuing for another um, two trimester, right, or to get a MNH tech with us. So with an MNH tech, students could um, proceed to the path for PE or professional engineer recognition, right? So with this PE recognition, they could be able to uh, have the authorization to carry out our projects, right? So these are the path which uh, students will have to go through if they continue or decide to go for a PE. On the other hand, some students may decide not to be a PE, but to be a chartered engineer, which is another path under um, IES. So what makes our SIE graduate special? SIT is the only autonomous university in Singapore offering building services and land transport related engineering education as of today. Unlike other mechanical and electrical engineering graduates, our SIT actually gives our students more exposure to the industry related to building services and land transport. So from day one of starting job, our students are well equipped and they are prepared to go for this integrated work study program through a, a series of workshops, training session with our career, career guide, as well as our communication lecturer to prepare them for this integrated work study. This will equip them with not only the um, engineering skill, but also the soft skill which is needed for the 21st century industry. So I will pass over the time now to my colleague, Professor Andrew Ng, to share more details on the sustainable infrastructure engineering land. Thank you. Thank you, Professor So. And let me share with you more about the SIE land degree programs. As all of you may be aware, our railway network will be doubled in the next 10 years from the existing 200 kilometers to approximately 360 kilometers. In addition to our existing line, we'll have the Thompson East Coast Line, Jurong Region Line, the Downtown Line, and even the Cross Island Line. And with that, we have almost 80% of our household within 10 minutes walk from stations and 90% of the buildings in the CBD within the 5 minutes walk from the railway stations. And this network density is comparable to those in Tokyo and New York. Then with that, we can see that not just only the local railway network expansions, we will get to have the Woodlands Johor Rail Link in 2026. So with that expansion of network both locally and globally, we we'll expect to have a lot of railway engineers in these industries. And you can see that there are a lot of job openings even now, and we'll be expecting more in the next few years because of this expansion. So SI Land Programs is going to equip you with the necessary knowledge and skill sets required um, by the industries. In this SIE land degree programs, we have three focus areas. One is the railway engineering, which covers the railway signalings and communications, railway supervisory control and data acquisitions, the rolling stocks and the permanent ways. We also have total preventive maintenance, which is highly sought after in many other industries. And this total preventive maintenance will include the failure analysis and preventions, lean management and engineering, and also the data analytics. For engineering. And last of all, we have the non-destructive testing, which is very important because it allowed us to know what are different methods and techniques for us to examine the structure without breaking the structure into small little parts. And all this focus area is definitely important in the railway industries and also many industries. Not just only the three focus area. In the course of your studies, we also prepared you for other professional certifications such as the non-destructive testing level two, non-destructive testing level three partial, the Lean Six Sigma yellow belt, and the Lean Six Sigma green belt. As you can see from the pictures on the right hand side, we have two students being awarded uh, with the non-destructive testing. As what Prof. So have mentioned earlier on, uh, we have a few comments 
modules in trimester one and two, especially in year one. As you can see in this table, we got the C programming, we got the mathematics, we got the measurement sensors, we got the communications, and we have other mechanical modules such as the heat exchange, dynamics of ma um, machines, and also the material selections. Then when it comes to year two, um, especially the third part, which is the third trimesters of year two, we have more specialized module, such as the railway signalings and comms, the rolling stocks and P-ways, the non-destructive testings, the total preventive maintenance, and the lean and quick response repair. So this is to prepare the students before they go for their one year of IWSP, which is the Integrated Work Study Programs. And what is this integrated work study programs? Integrated work study programs is a signature feature of SIT degree programs. In SIE land and SIE building services, our IWSP is a one year duration where students will go to the industry and work for one year. This will definitely prepare them for the jobs ahead uh, after they have graduated. So the whole entire IWSP begins as early as January. Let's take this calendar year 2020 as an example. The job postings of the job description by the employers will be done from January to April. And after that, uh, the students, those who have been selected, will go for an interview from May to June. Of course, before that, there will be a career nexus held in January for the students to know more about the job descriptions, to know more about uh, their potential job employers. And finally, um, those that have been selected will go for the IWSP in September until the following year, August. So this is the integrated work study programs that SIE Land and SIE Building Services will be offered to you. So what are some of the companies for SIE Land? For SIE Land, we have many IWSP companies, and of course, um, the LTAs, the SMRT, the SPSTs, um, the Elstom, Talus, Bombardier, ST Engineering, so on and so forth. And these are key players in the railway industries. We have the governors, we have the uh, public transport operators, we have the railway suppliers, we have the railway the OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer, that comes in um, as part of our IWSP companies. So according to the Graduate Employment Service in 2019, we have 44% of our graduates working with the IWSP industrial partners, which you can see very clearly in the slide, uh, the LTA, the SMRT, and SBST. And remaining will work in non-IWSP industrial, uh, with the uh, non-IWSP industrial partners. And they also include um, the Asia Rail Engineering, that does a lot of you know, uh, consultancy works and also um, uh, supplier work uh, for in the real industries. We have the comfort transportations and some even goes to the hotel like the Grand Hyatt Hotel, building industries, JTCs, and also um, to the universities or even to the Ministry of Defense and Singapore Police Force. And why is it so? Because the SIE land does not only you know, um, uh, prepare graduate to enter only the railway industries. They can also go to other industries because of the other two focus area, which is the total preventive maintenance and also um, the data analytics that they have learned and the non-destructive testing that uh, they have, you know, learned during their uh, four years with us. So according to the survey that was done in 2018 and 2019, you can see that there is an increased in the basic monthly salary from a mean of 3,618 to 3,856 in 2019. It's an it's a increase of at least $300. And for a gross monthly salary, you'll be expecting about 3,976 a mean uh, in 2019. So we can see that um, this jobs you know in the railway industries uh, is offering you know a good uh, package you know to the graduates uh, from SIT so what makes uh, the applications uh, eligible so we really welcome students from the local polytechnics the A levels the IB diplomas the HS uh, H, uh, NUS high school diplomas graduates 
And for other holders from the BCA, such as Diploma in Electrical uh, Engineering, uh, Electrical um, Mechanical Engineering, you are also welcome or eligible to apply uh, to the SI LAN and even BS programs. Those with re relevant engineering background, such as uh, aerospace, mechanicals, uh, mechatronics, and electrical engineering, uh, you may apply for exemptions up to a maximum of two trimesters. However, for those without a relevant engineering background, um, the, the, the exemptions will be conducted on a case-by-case -case basis. So in year one, third trimesters, we will have a break. That trimester break, we will provide you with a lot of enriching you know, activities, uh, workshops, and uh, one of it is the RISE, which is the Regional Immersion in Sustainable Engineering. So this Regional Immersion in Sustainable Engineering um, activities uh, will bring students out of Singapore to China. Right? For example, uh, we will be visiting some of the um, major um, industrial players in China, such as the Suzhou China Southern Rail uh, Electric. We will also visit the Capital Steels at Tangshan. We will go to the Shenhua Wind Power, um, Tianjin Eco Cities, the China Railway Rolling Stocks Corporation Qingdao Sifang, and we will also visit the Beijing Jiao Tong Universities, as you can see from the pictures. So what are some of the achievements um, by our students? So the students will also participate in uh, local and global competitions, such as the Energy Innovation Challenge in 2015. In 2016, they participated in the SAMCOP EMA Engine, uh, Energy Challenge. Uh, they, also have it, um, they also participated in the World Skills Singapore in 2018. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we, only, um, we do not only teach the students, but we also provide them with the necessary know-how, uh, knowledge uh, for them to apply for professional certifications. And these are our two students from SIE Land uh, who were awarded the Singapore Non-Destructive Testing Certificates for Magnetic Particle Testing. And this is made possible because of the professional training that they receive in the SIE program and also during their IWSP. And after that, they sit for a exams that is conducted by the Non-Destructive Testing Singapore Society. And that's all for our presentations and we look forward to your application. Thank you.